Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 84 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. You get it. But before we start, I want to remind everyone that we're hosting a $500 chess tournament. It will be 10 minute rapid unrated. We're going to be playing two games of rapid. If it's 1-1, we will go down to blitz and it's going to be a knockout tournament. There will be five ELO ranges. And if you want more information on how to participate, look in the description. And without uh, anything else said, let's play a game. So we get the white pieces and we're playing Phoenix. We get the Sicilian. So we have recently converted to the clothed Sicilian. Grand Prix. Still learning. So don't give me too much of a hard time if I make some some weird looking moves, but uh you know my Alapin wasn't really scoring very well, so we we converted. So let's bring the knight out. I think the best move is to trade this knight off. Yeah, let's let's go for this. He might take. But if he takes, then you know, we just castle and we got we got a little bit going on here. Okay, that's interesting. We do not have to take just yet. We can just go here because this knight's pinned. So, I mean, we can make him do this or something. Now we'll take. And I'm going to play a4. Oh, pfft. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That is the whole reason why I put the rook there. Um, yeah, we're going to play a4 to stop b5. And now he's playing for this. If he takes, I can take back, I believe. Um, just castle. I mean, we, we got a decent lead in development here. If he wants to start exploding the center, I am happy to do that. And we can probably kick this this bishop out. If he takes, and so be it. But Okay, he develops there. He's trying, yeah, he's really trying for this, I think. Let's, let's kick this out. Might do this. Okay, now we got this lined up, which is, you know, always nice. Okay, he takes. We do not have to take, but... Um... Let's calculate here. So takes. He takes like this, takes, takes. Uh we can't take back. Which sucks, but more reason to just let him do his thing here. But yeah. Yeah, so if I take, he takes, I take, he takes. So it would be Losing a knight. We were to do that. So let's make an improving move. Maybe king h1. <laughs> improving move and king move don't usually uh, correlate, but it's a it's a common idea from my understanding in the Grand Prix that you you move the king to h1, kind of hide him on the corner. And then try to go for like g4, g5, or like f5, I should say. And if he closes down the center, I will just rotate like this. And then we will probably play f5. Uh, maybe we're not ready for that. Let's say hypothetically, he goes here, here. I guess it's his move. I don't know what he would do. Maybe this, getting ready to fianchetto. Uh, f5. Take, take, take. We would be looking good. Could open up these lines. Okay, I'm very happy to see that. Sorry, if you hear me sniffling, I have a stuffy nose. Or if I sound weird. Um, I will definitely try to cut out the sniffles. But, uh, you know, if one or two sneak through, my apologies. Okay, so he lashes out with F5. Hmm. 
Interesting. I, I'm pretty sure I don't take. If here, I'm really gonna play this. This check doesn't really do anything. I don't believe because just just g6. His king becomes a little bit soft, but hmm. What could possibly be the best move here? If I take. I'm losing a center pawn. It does open up um, possibilities over here on this rook because my rook would be aligned, but it's protected. Um, I don't want to lock this up, I don't think. I don't think that's something I want to do. Uh, my bishop's kind of bad, so taking will allow me to open it up. Or him taking, I should say. So Maybe let's just improve the knight here. Um, this knight's not really doing a whole lot right now, but maybe it can serve me better on g3. And, I mean, not really, but maybe I do, maybe I go here and try for this pawn, but the queen protects it. Uh, okay. And I guess if this opens up, this pawn hangs. Well, that's not really great. Uh, okay, I'm having a hard time coming up with a plan here. I mean, realistically, if I shut this down, oh, I'm giving him this square. I don't want to do that. But I was, what I was going to say is his his bishop kind of has no future prospects, but I guess the knight will just go here, and then he can just push, and it opens up. So that's not really true. So I'm just I'm going to do my knight plan. We're going to go g3 with the knight. My, okay, so he goes for that anyway, so giving that check would have just been a waste of a move. Uh, maybe I go, no, let's, maybe we develop the bishop and then bring the other rook over. Because clearly he wants to push these pawns and not castle, so let's bring the pieces to the center of the board. That also stops the infiltration point here. He does have this move targeting this pawn, which is kind of annoying, but it's easily refuted with uh, b3. However, I don't like to move b3 because it weakens the square, and it becomes a backwards pawn that can never move forward. Maybe a plan that we could have is just pushing this h-pawn. It's not really doing that much. And if I could get up here and pull this pawn away, or even... No, oh god. No, that's a terrible plan. If I get here, he, and he doesn't take. I cannot take. I guess it, it's only terrible if I take, because he takes and opens this up. Okay, so he goes there. Don't know what that really does. It's kind of like a a pass me turn. It also blocks his queen from coming in. Although once I once again he has this move. Um, yeah, let's continue with our original plan of going here. Bring the pieces to the center. Okay, he develops the bishop. Is he planning the castle? I feel like that might be his plan right now. Um, if takes, this is not a free pawn. Let's go. Let, let, let's do this plan. It looks kind of weird now that my king, my king is on h1 because I used that turn to put it there and called it an improving move. But uh, if he castles, then this is... It's a thing. Uh, but if I go here and he takes, I guess I'm taking. That's the whole point. Then what does he do? He starts to open up this position. My rooks are placed good, so let's just do it. <coughs> can always get the knight in as well. I don't have to take with the queen. Freeze up the square. And then maybe stuff like this. It goes there. 
If I take, he's planning to take with the knight, probably, or this. Is there any kind of sacrifices in this position? If I could get a knight here, that'd be amazing. But I do not think that that is possible. Positions like this are where... <coughs> Are when uh, people start to blunder. Oh. <clears throat> now I really want to know if taking the pawn and opening up that position is a blunder. I'd like to get the uh, rook onto this h file. I can open it up. He can open up his, but. He has better prospects here, I think. Uh, I'd like to open up this bishop as well. My bishop sucks. Let's take. He takes like that. Okay. Maybe let's plan to walk our king over and try to utilize this file. He might play, I would, I'm thinking he might play king to f7. Also trying to get to this open file. It would have been nice if I had the possibility to move this pawn so I could go here. I don't really like the idea of coming here because alignments, but it'll be fine. Okay, so he goes there. Ooh, okay, so what I noticed about that immediately is that the queen sees the rook so if i take and take i'm pretty sure i can just take this pawn now and open up stuff he takes here uh let's see <clears throat> take take uh i guess it doesn't quite work because i need to remove this that's the point Yeah, let's just go here. But if he ever moves this knight, then I just snap take. Unless it goes here. I mean, it can't go there. But if I go here, he can just do this. That would lose a couple pawns, but uh, yeah. You get the point. You get what I'm saying. <clears throat> so he just pushes. Uh, let's see. Do I need to really do anything about this? If takes, takes, I'm allowing this. Doesn't seem necessary. If I take, he comes in. As doesn't have that. Um, the lines are starting to open up here. This, this, and like stuff like this. But I don't, I can't allow this, I don't think. So let's take. If this, I just take and trade off. Which isn't what I want to do. Oh, but then the bishop opens up. Ooh, I kind of overlooked that part of it. Let's come to this open file now. That's been the whole plan the whole time. So let's just go for it. Okay, that that just that just uh, blunders upon. All right, sure, take a pawn and pin my bishop while also attacking my bishop. Yeah, I think we made a mistake here. Can't do this. That just protect it, I guess. Ah, uh, but he's he's getting this pawn too. And then he's gonna create a pass pawn. Oh, I really messed up. What did I say? First one to make a blunder in this position. Oh jeez. That's brutal. I feel like we missed some kind of tactic or like a winning move. Definitely do. 
Okay. Can I just like go here? Can't do this. Protecting this. I could protect the pawn. And I guess if I go here. He has takes and like checks. I really want this. Don't want to open up this rook, but if I take, uh, if I can open the lines for my, hmm. could also just block them out here. That's an idea, but it gives this square. I don't like that. Okay, we we gotta block this bishop out. It's gonna give me some trouble. I already know it. You can just take here. I can't do that. Uh, this forces... No, it doesn't force anything. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, there's that knight move. Bishop is allowed to move now, but I cannot go here. If I go here, he takes. What if I go back? Is that an idea? <laughs> it's getting weird. I don't know. I need to go for a dire direct assault. He just goes here, though. <laughs> like... Uh... Okay, he sees exactly what I want. He's probably going for this. So, like, if I go here, I'm just gonna go here. Dang it. Let's see. Don't have any plans. Go here. I don't know why, but uh, I have less than a minute. We are definitely losing. That is a for sure fact. I cannot go here and try this. Or can I? Okay, he's forcing a trade. I mean, I don't have to trade, but I don't see another way. If I go here, he can't take. Unpleasant. Yeah, I locked this down. I got myself into this trouble. It's my fault. Just no, oh, that allows him to come in. I go for this trade. Okay, let's go for it. I don't know if it's right or not. Uh, this pawn's gonna fall. Dang it! Wait, will it? This one will. Like if takes, takes, uh, takes, I can't, oh, he can take this one. Okay, so he goes there. Good move. Let's run. Run the king to safety, maybe. 20 seconds. Wait, there's... Yeah. Is there anything that I can do? <laughs> uh, he could probably just go here. Can't take because he has this. Or can I? I just go here if he does that, I think. But no, because I can't really allow him to just take on this pawn. I think that would cause some problems. Not really too sure, though. I don't have this because he would just take. Wait, no. Do I have this? Where does that queen go? 
Okay, I saw something like that coming. Here. Wait. Yeah, no, I don't. I can't take. Go here. He can't take this. Good, but don't see it. Gotta protect. If he goes, it's gonna go here, I think. Do I have this as well? An extra attacker. Oh, he can just counter attack, can't he? If here, here. Oh, he just takes. He sacks the queen. I mean, I don't really blame him, but it is a little bit bold. Uh, okay, let's go here. Attack. Takes. We just need to play really quickly right now. Yes. Okay, we're just going to sack the knight. <laughs> we don't want to be sacking everything, but what can I say? <laughs> okay, I cannot win with just a queen versus a rook, bishop, and knight, but we're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to do our best. Oh, he also has five pawns. Oh, this guy. Causing me some issues. Everything's so solid in his, his position. That's the issue. Maybe if his pieces weren't so active, but his pieces are actually doing a great job. See, now he can just target this and then push these pawns. Okay, he gives a check. I don't want to go on a dark square, but I think I need to. Okay. Go here. Ooh, he, he blunders a knight. I don't think that was on purpose. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. I cannot go here. Wait, I can. But Oh, he, what? He resigns? Dude, why do people resign when they're down so much? That's insane. It was dead equal. I had a queen versus two pieces and he blunders one. All right. <laughs> My god, people. Let's take a quick look at this and then play a second game. And we're back over 15, by the way. Just from that game. But we we did not deserve that. We we should have lost that. Okay, <laughs> this was a mistake. Or an inaccuracy. So I should have just immediately dealt with his bishop. And yeah, so there's that. This was a miss. So, oh, F5 was available right then. What are the continuations? Push, take, back, and then you get in. Okay, oh, I see why. It's because I had this alignment on this square, so if this file opened up, I was gonna get it in here. That makes sense. We'll note that for next time. Uh, this was not right. So just try to triple up the rooks, maybe. I should not have taken. Well, it was okay to take, but yeah, I was looking at that move as well. But... And this was a miss. Okay, so it was time to take this pawn. And then we really get in trouble here. Yeah, like this was this was scary, especially in time trouble. And that was a brilliant move, and I didn't even play the best move here. Uh, I should have just went back. And then here, I wonder what Stockfish thinks of his... Wait, 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 we missed it. So he, he gave the queen. He definitely shouldn't have given the queen. He should have did this, a counterattack. Because after takes, 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 there's this. So I wouldn't have taken the rook here but this is completely winning i i don't even know if i would have took in this position he kind of forced what's the best move uh going back a little weird yeah then there's this we keep playing and he blunders the knight and <laughs> resigns all right let's play a second game here 
All right, so we found a second opponent. And we get the white pieces here. We have actually played this guy, and luckily for us, even if we lose this game, we're still 1,500. So we come out of this episode a 1,500 player again. Now, it might be short-lived. You never know. Okay, this is kind of weird, but wasting an extra tempo to, to do that doesn't seem right to me, but what do I know? Okay, let's pin. I'm going to trade it off. And we'll just go D3. Okay, develops the knight. I think we're fine to castle, right? He can't take, 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 take. Yeah, no, we're good to castle. This might be coming, but... Okay, he goes there. Go like this. Plays there. I go here now. No, because of this. I don't want to make any mistakes. You don't need to worry about this queen side because there's no knight that can jump in. Might play bishop here. But I also, like, I want to get an attack going. So let's play, ooh, wait a minute. King h1, mm, I don't like that alignment. I mean, it's not the worst though. Let's, let's go for it. Let's start attacking. Go crush this guy. Um, yeah, let's play, play G1 here. A clear indication of what I want. Uh, probably this here. Or not that, but I can play G4 now. That's what I want to do. Okay, it goes for the center. We're just going to ignore it. And we're playing G4. Okay, he takes... Uh, we can take. He takes like this. It's fine. F5 here. And then we can't take with this pawn because this would be pinned. Here, here, here. Is that what I want? No. I feel like the, the, uh, the game's a little too open for what I'm trying to do. I need to create a little bit of room for my king. What I'm realizing now, maybe I play bishop to e3 and then rook d1, attacking the queen, forcing it off, but then the queen could probably go here, targeting this. Now if I play here, he can take the pawn, because our queen would be blocked. Okay, it goes for that. Do I want to allow this? This can just rotate over. If I play here, the knight can't go here. It can go here. Can't go here. Well, it can actually, but I don't think it wants to go there. Hmm. Okay, let's slow play this a little bit more. Is this a good move, though? All right, let's not think about it too, too much. I think it's fine. Now, the knight, if I go he Oh, th that's his plan. He's trying to win this pawn. And push, but then this is pinned and lost. Okay, so... It blundered a little bit. Can I do this, a counterattack? Takes, 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 takes. Is that something that could possibly happen? If I go here, can he come in here and cause me trouble? That's what I'd be worried about. Should be fine. Let's counterattack. He's trying to win this pawn. I don't want him to win that pawn. 
I'm getting awfully close to his king. Knocking on his door, as Gotham Chess says. And this is this is aggressive. I don't usually play like this. It, it, computer's probably going to scream at me, and so are you guys, but uh, I'm having fun out here. I'm having fun. I'm learning the Grand Prix and how to king side attack. Same side attack. And I need to mess up to really learn. So cut me some slack. Is he just faster? Okay, he takes. If he takes here, I think I go here. Or if he takes, I can take like this, maybe? No. Okay, he takes the pawn. He chickened out. But this now runs into that. I don't think he wants to give up that dark square bishop. Because I'll take with the queen, actually, and threaten mate. So he won't be able to take this pawn. Uh, we need to do something about our king, though. Oh, God. That's looking bad. This bishop's just going to be a menace, that's all. That's the issue. Yeah, he's probably trying to figure out whether he wants to take or just let me take. Okay. Seems debatable. Can't do this because it hangs the, the knight. Uh, I could go here targeting that. And if he takes, then I take, and I've got immense pressure here. He can't take that pawn because the, the queen protects it. So let's go here. That's my thought process behind it. And if I get rid of that light squared bishop, I'll be happy. He just takes. Why would he just take? Kind of confused on that one. Just letting me have this pressure. Maybe he's thinking this. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I go here. And then he's got to do something about this. Which is easily refuted, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't move the queen because it protects this. Durr. Okay. Counterattacks. We have rook here. But where does the queen go? Probably here to attack this pawn. Then I can just come back. So let's activate the rook. Use a tempo. Danger levels, as Gotham says. And our king, speaking of danger levels. <laughs> Very dangerous. Okay, queen there. I could attack it again. Is it necessary? Probably not. But it gets my queen out of danger. I don't see anything wrong with that move. Not one thing. He goes there. He wants to start fighting on these light squares, I'm assuming. Can win a pawn. Is it even worth it, though? Is there, like, something here? Take? No, it's pinned. It's pinned. It's pinned. I can run out right now, but... His, his, what's his plan here? I don't like that my queen has to be guarding this square. And I have a feeling like it will get me in some trouble, but I also don't know if I have the tempo right now to, to use on that. Everything's protected. What if I play queen here with intentions of coming over eventually? No, I don't like the alignment of this either. I think I strictly just need to play here and here. Plan's probably to push and attack this, now that I'm really thinking of it. So maybe let's push this pawn to stop any of that. If he pushes this pawn, I will go here. Or push, take, take, take. That doesn't, no, it loses. Because the rook is behind, okay. 
Yeah, we would just shut it down. And the computer was probably like, yeah, why wouldn't you take the free pawn? Well. Stockfish, I'm scared. That's why. But this is my own fault. I, I pushed all of my king pawns. And, and now I'm dealing with it. Because uh, it's just an equal position. <laughs> There's not, a, like, I have zero advantage. I just have no safety. So... Really, black is probably like plus two, three right now. Just based on the king's safety. And yeah, so now he's coming over to protect there. Um, now I think I will take the pawn. Because if I can convert this into an endgame and be a pawn up, I will be a happy camper. Well, let's just take it. Go for it. Let's not think about it. Let's just do it. Now, if I could, oh, oh my gosh, if I get the bishop on this diagonal, uh, do I want to take here? Oh, I can't take, I can't because of this pin. Um, yeah, bring this rook up here. Oh, but he's just gonna, just gonna take, um, yeah, so that's, and if he takes, then I immediately lose a rook. I need to play here. So me winning a pawn didn't win me a pawn because of this. And actually, now that I've gotten off of this square, I will lose this pawn as well. Good job. Very, very good job. And <laughs> takes a check forking this pawn. Wow, okay. Yeah, he would be insane to take with the uh, the pawn, in my opinion. Yeah, he's got to do that. Could do this, but he takes. There's no need for that. So, king up, we lose his pawn. That's unfortunate. This is protected so well. This king's awkward. There's no moving room. Maybe if... What if I can just put everything on this square? Like, maybe this isn't so bad because I get to use a move to come here and then, like, here. And then we have ideas of, like, this and this, setting up everything. Just to assault that king. Maybe it's not so bad. Let's make the best out of it. I don't know what he's thinking about. He, okay, he goes for my my bishop. Um, yeah, so he wants this pawn, like, extra good. I don't blame him. He, if he can come in here with, with that, why wouldn't he? Now, we don't want to go here and pin our, or go here and pin ourselves. We can also just take this pawn and allow this. Oh, but he comes in with check. Oof. And then he has this. Okay, so it's worse than I thought. We can't just go gobbling pawns. Maybe, maybe I go here, kind of prophylactically. No, because I need to protect the bishop. Right, right. We can protect it with the pawn. And then he's probably gonna play this. Wouldn't be nice, but it should give me time to move. I feel like he should take his chance and take this pawn. So I do like I I do have these three pawns versus one. Okay, so he goes for that. Now I can't take it would blunder this, but uh can just go here and instead of losing the pawn, I can use the pawn. But when he takes I take I go here and I have two outside pass pawns. So then maybe we switch our play and our game plan to utilizing our outside past pawns and trying to just promote. Okay, so it goes there. 
Now, there's no real good way of protecting that except for going behind it, which he cannot really target. Let's use a rook and go behind. And then we will try to push using these pawns. So he's probably going to bring everything over. I would be shocked if he did not. Okay, he's, he halts. He halts everything. Okay. I can push and have an attack. Is there a counter to this, though? Um, can't go here because I would just take. I don't see it. Let's go here. We're attacking the rook. This check doesn't work. He can attack it again if he wishes, but he's got to do something with the rook first. These pieces are way too passive. Okay, what's that doing? I mean, can I just try for, for this? He wants that. He wants to fork this stuff. So in fact, this won't even work because after he goes rook to d5, how do I protect this pawn? So let's play this now to protect this pawn so that if he does play this, then we can move out of the way. We need to defend ourselves from getting checkmated and we also need to protect our pawns those two pawns if they fall we probably lose okay he's doubling up likely trying to get this could bring the the bishop back but i could also go like this these pawns will be fine and if I go here, he has to take, take, and trade down into that. And I think this is winning for me. Now, I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that these, uh, these are winning. However, he does have this bishop that uh, is very useful. Okay, he goes after this. Take here. And then maybe we come here. We can just attack it, but there's that. Okay, let's simplify down. Let's take. And we can even do this, attacking this. And have eyes here. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, he's really going for it. Uh, what does he see? I bring the rook back, right? To protect. Everything's solid. In my opinion. Doesn't have any checks. This is fine. You can try to push the pawns and break through, maybe. It brings the rook. What? He wants this check. We can defend it by attacking the queen as well. Okay, let's go here. This is hanging. He can get this pawn now. I don't care. Take, take, take. Queen and bishop versus rook and bishop? I, I don't see why I wouldn't do that. Oh, this pinned. Okay. okay we can't lose this. Not... Ooh, this is this is tricky. Going for this. I got 37 seconds. Oof. Oh no! He gets the fork. Okay. Have to go there. I need to protect this. Can't even go there. Oh my gosh, am I gonna lose? Wait, let's be tricky. No, that's not even tricky. He just loses because I'm forced to take or go here. No, he he wins. I have to take. Ah man, we were totally winning that. How did I throw that? 
All he has to do is just just do this. Like and you're winning. Can't take like that, but Okay. Um let's go here. Ooh, he cuts me off. He can take. Ah. He can just take. Okay, he didn't take. Go here. Uh, he can just check me. He didn't even check me. Oh my gosh, how can I win this? Okay, let's save this rook. Oh, that doesn't save it though. I don't think. Yeah, because there's checks. If I would have went anywhere else. But he can't take remote. I, my rook is trapped. <laughs> what a disaster. We have ideas of sacking the rook here. He's got to see that, though. He has a minute on the clock. And why would he not? Well, actually, he can't take. He can just pin me. It's as simple as that. What? He went for that? Okay, let's take. He, he should just check me. He loses if he does not give me checks. Because I have check... Actually, this is just checkmate. So if, if he doesn't check me, and he takes here, I go check, here, promote. He's got to give me checks. Okay, we'll come all the way back, protecting. Now he's going to come here. Can I go here? Still checks. Uh, probably a draw. Here. Can I do this? This looks very scary. Uh, okay, if he wants a draw, we'll take a draw. Oh my gosh, what a game. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a repetition. That is perfectly fine. Oh, man. <laughs> what a wacko game. Let's, let's look at this. I'm curious. That ending. Whew. Wow. Um, <laughs> let's see what Stockfish thinks of all my uh, King Pond moves. Okay, up until here is just dandy. Nah, this wasn't great, but... Okay, I wanted me to start rotating the knight. And that was a mistake. <laughs> okay, that was a miss. This was all best. It's all equal. That was a mistake. Should have just came all the way back. That was a bad move. I'm not winning here. Not even remotely close. Uh, what did he miss here? Come here. Yeah, just this pin. This pin, the whole game was terrible. But okay. We get this. That was a mistake. Okay, I should have went with this one. But I, I thought this. That's just a free pawn, right? It's weird. That was a mess, what? Okay, so it, Stockfish is like, come in. Oh, I don't care. What? What are you gonna do, just go here? Let's look at that. Rook takes, Rook blocks. Okay, so you just, you just trade off. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Pushing, <laughs> pushing was not right. It hates me pushing my pass pawns, which is weird takes yeah i just one material is plus five here how did i mess this up oh this 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 uh wait no no no. what's my best move 
Just move. Th oh. Oh, no. Oh, what a miss. You have a counterattack on the queen, so it's not even a fork. But I allowed it to be a fork. I'm still winning, but th <laughs> this loses. Because I had to give up the queen. And we get into this where I'm one square away. And he had a winning move here. Which is just... <laughs> I don't know why he didn't take the rook. He could have took it with the the king. He could have took it with the queen. Oh, well, no, he couldn't because I would promote. So I guess the check was kind of necessary. Um, but oh, my gosh. From winning to just lost to draw. I will happily take it because, oh, that was a battle, but... Oh, man. Today was crazy, man. Crazy. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. It helps quite a bit, actually. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and check the description for all that fun stuff. Um, we got that tournament coming up. There's not a date for it, but it is within this month so come try to win your prize and uh have some fun thank you so much for watching